Are you thinking of shopping for your first home in the next year? If so, you're in the right place. Today, we're gonna to discuss the five things that first time home buyers need to know before diving into their search. But before I get started, I just wanted to let you know that I created an awesome guide on the seven ways to avoid buying a property lemon. You can grab your free copy of it at the link in this video description today. Okay, now let's get into it. Here are the five super important things you need to know before you start shopping for a home. Number one, determine your ideal budget. It's important to decide how much house you can afford early on before you start searching and becoming emotionally attached to any particular home. It's important to leave room in your budget for life and other things, so I wouldn't recommend accounting any more than 25% of your monthly take-home pay to go towards your housing costs. Remember, that includes taxes, insurance, and any HOA fees in addition to your mortgage payment. Number two, save for closing costs. Along with your down payment on your loan, you'll need to budget for the extra costs that go along with closing on a home. Things like title insurance, transfer tax, inspections and appraisal, etc. I always advise my buyers to generally estimate that your closing costs will be about 5-7% to of your purchase price. Number three, get pre-approved. Once you've determined that you have enough cash saved for a down payment and closing costs, you're ready to connect with the lender. To get pre-approved, your lender will need to verify your financial information by taking a look at some important documents like your bank statements, your tax returns, and your credit score. Pre-approval letters are generally good for 60 to 90 days and require no obligation. Obtaining this document is a crucial step to take before touring homes because you'll want all your ducks in a row when it comes time to actually make an offer. Number four, decide on location versus space early on. I'm sure you've heard the expression many times, location, location, location. It's important to prioritize which locations work best for you and your family before starting your search. Take a look at school districts as well. In terms of resale value, you'll get the most bang for your buck if you buy in an area that will always hold value because of its schools, proximity to amenities, or its safety. A home can always be modified or improved, but you can never change its location. Lastly, number five, a down payment is never a bad investment. Home buyers often ask me how much money they need to put down in order to buy a house. The truth is that there are many loan products available today, especially for first time buyers, where consumers can put as little as three to 5% down on their loan. But it's also important to note that buyers who put less than 20% down may be subject to paying a mortgage insurance premium until they reach 20% equity in their home. Now this can be a great option for those who feel ready to take the leap into home ownership, but who may not have a ton of liquid cash on hand. All in all, it's important to weigh your options with your lender to figure out the best direction for you. I hope you found this video helpful, and if you want more real estate content like this, be sure to grab your free copy of my buyer guide, The 7 Ways to Avoid Buying a Property Lemon. Just click the link in the description. Thanks for watching.